don't touch that dial. It's another episode of Heineke at Home. Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Heineke at Home with my assistant Ebug. <laughs> uh, today we're going to go over fundamentals of both throwing and again fielding and then we're going to touch on the crow hop that Bent Benty touched on last week. This time you really want to focus on yourself, focus on fundamentals, make sure that what you're doing in your area, um, small area, to work on fundamentals is, is correct and really driving home the point. So today we're going to work on throwing and what we have is a tennis ball in a basic um, kitchen towel and we're going to use that so that you can feel the motion and you can actually see the motion. So our assistant's going to start on one knee, she's facing down. What she's going to do is she's going to hold this so like she's holding a ball and it's up in the up here and she's going to do a nice swim motion and you can see the the motion of the towel it comes directly across top if she's doing it correctly go ahead you can keep doing it if she's doing it correctly you can see the towel go right directly over the top and she follows through and she can even follow through more and touch the ground with her hand and she goes all the way through so then after she does that for a while and you can see she's going to stand up and same thing this is uh the younger girls are going to sit here and they're going to be nice and high hands nice and high and they're going to snap and follow through. And you can see as they go, right at the end, right at the release is right where the wrist snap is and you can see that's where the towel is snapping forward. Some of the more advanced players, as you get older, you don't need to stand up as high so you're going to stay low, more in an athletic position and your hands are only going to go about this high so when you field, you're just going right to here, bend your knees a little bit more so you're here like this and now you're throwing from that position and it's the same type of thing. You're just coming directly over the top more, more of a swim motion. So a hard throw if you have to throw hard first base. And then a short throw if you're throwing from uh, second base to first base is going to be almost like a sidearm throw where you're going to just notice that her shoulders just rotate around. Okay. For the more advanced players, they're going to stay down low and they're going to make that short, quick throw. If you watch college softball, you'll see a lot of them. It almost looks like a sidearm throw, but if you look, She's got her hand up here, and it's the same position as if, hold your hand up where you're about to throw. Now stand up straight, and it's the same position. It's just she's thrown from down here and rotating her shoulders, as opposed to standing up all the way and taking the time to stand all the way up. Next thing we're going to touch on is, again, your fielding motion. So when you're fielding, you're going to just go here, butt down, hand out in front of you, and again, right there, and then get into a throwing motion as fast as you can. So you're here, feel it, and get into that throwing motion. Two is you can also take a uh, a step step approach. So you're stepping with your glove foot, uh, your throwing foot, glove foot, and then throwing foot again. Here we go. Ready? So it's step step, step step. There we go. All right, just like that. So with her, it's right left, feel it, and then right left again. So it's. Um, throwing foot, glove foot, throwing foot, glove foot, throwing foot, glove foot. There you go, just like that. Now, um, again, the um, more advanced players are gonna, you're gonna see more of a sidearm throw. <laughs> so you're gonna see more of a sidearm throw where it's here, and she's just in that position, ready to throw. So you're here like this. Good. thing that we're going to touch on is the crow hop. So Benty did a great job last week talking about the crow hop that was in the air. So she caught the ball up in the air and she crow hopped. What I want to talk about is if you're an outfielder and you're fielding the ball, you want to field it in front of you between your hips. So you're here like this, field it out, and then you're using that left leg to propel yourself forward. You can see how far she, she cleared. So she feels it again. <laughs> Feel it again inside her hips like this and then she uses that leg to propel. 
The last thing we want to show is touch on is the do or die situation where the girl takes off from second base and if she scores you win, they win and you lose so you just do or die so you field it off to the side you're charging at full speed, fielding it off to the side and doing the crow hop. I can't emphasize enough how much um, a part of the game that fundamentals are. You really want to focus on fundamentals and working hard on those in this time when you're in your own house is going to pay big, huge dividends once the season comes. Thanks for joining us. Coach Heineke, eBug. We'll see you again later.